patience level at right now? Uh, I mean, it's, I feel like I'm in the same space that I would be any other time. Um, you know, it's a, it's new. You know, I think that's the best way to describe it. You know, we talked about it before the season started. It wasn't going to be easy. It wasn't going to click right away. Um, and it was going to take time for things to come together. You know, I think as a competitor, it's frustrating um, to be inconsistent, you know, to let games slip away. But um, it's a part of the process that, that we've all committed to. You know, this is this is the way that it goes. It seems like, I'm not blaming you, I'm blaming us really. Like, we're having the same conversations every night while you guys are building through something that's going to maybe take 30 games and we keep dissecting every single one. Do you sort of feel that way? I mean, I, the good thing for me is this is my 10th year in the league, you know, and it's, um, you know, I'm the person that's in the action. You know, I'm at practice, I'm in film, I'm on the floor during these games. You know, my job is to, to be a part of that process and to um, try to be a part of the solution of how we get there, you know, and that's, that means um, understanding that some, this, you know, new coaching staff, a lot of new guys in the rotation, um, it's going to be different, you know, it's going to be ups and downs. It's going to be us finding our way. So I, I know that. And for you guys, like, your job is to critique and to watch the games and say, what's going on? And try to pinpoint this and pin why are we losing? Who's playing well? Who's not? Like, that's you guys' job. So, I mean, I, I get it. You know, when you're watching it, you guys aren't with us every day. You guys aren't hearing our conversations and how we feel and what we think the issues are. So, you know, I'm... I always know that these questions are, are going to be asked. Can you, do you have any thoughts or reasons why you think that players like Frank Kaminsky have been having nights against you guys? And, and not to say they can't play, but just the fact that it's not necessarily guys who you would assume are going to come in and put it to you. And it seems like that's been a consistent theme this season. No, it has. Um, and we talked about that, you know. Um, we got, you know, you look at the scout report, Phoenix Suns, and you say, all right, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, you know, those are the guys we're going to lock in on. He wants to go this direction. And this play, he's trying to get to this. You know, you lock in on those guys. Um, but you still got to have respect for everybody in the, on the NBA team, you know, especially guys that are in the rotation. You have to know that. Maybe their job isn't to dominate games and all those things, but they're here for a reason. You know, they can play. Um, so when you look at guys like that, you can't let them play to their strengths. You know, you can't just disrespect them. And, you know, I, there was a few times tonight where, you know, we have a scouting report for JaVale McGee. Like, he's not a jump shooter. He's going to be diving to the rim. So the bigs, you know, we can be back. We can be off of him. And, you know, there was a few times where we get into a scramble and Frank Kaminsky is popping to the three-point line. And, you know, we in the scramble, you know, not always the big's fault. It's just regardless of what took place and he's popping, it's like we got to get to him, you know what I'm saying? But we was treating it almost like the same way as we treated JaVale McGee. And it's like this, like that's what he wants to do, um, you know. So I think you just – you got to have respect for those guys, man, and not let them just play in their, in their comfort zone and do all the things that, that they do well. Um, and then, you know, you guard Chris Paul and Devin Booker with everything and you sharp with them, but not with guys like that. That's how you lose in the NBA. And, I mean, his dude had 31 points. Is that his career high? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be hard to win like that. That's I think one more. From afar, it looks like uh, you guys are having a lot of conversations on the court. Timeouts, and out of timeouts. Does it seem like it to you as well that you guys are – having more dialogue throughout the course of the game than normal? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's part of yeah. something new. You know, it's a lot of misunderstandings, miscommunications. Like, that's that's the best way I could explain it. You know, it's a lot of dialogue because, you know, Roy will say, all right, you know, we switch in one through four. And then the four end up on the ball. And then the five is setting the screen, so it's like if they're like size, so should they just switch it, or should the four be in coverage like we in coverage because the five is not switching? So the four end up in coverage, chasing over the screen, which he's not used to doing, 
And now the five might be thinking, we like size, so he might switch. And now they both on the ball, and it's a guy diving to the rim. And the weak side, we thinking, all right, they might switch that. But it's really like, we got to talk that out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, there was a time you and Norm had a mix up on that. Yeah, where we you, had it. We you had thought he was going to take them and went to the baseline, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but so you have those types of things. And it's like, because it's new, you got to talk about it and try to, you know, work out the kinks. So, um, you know, I think that's. That's why you see so much dialogue because it's like we got to figure it out, and you're not gonna figure it out without you know having those conversations. And just to be clear, all that dialogue has been healthy. Yeah, I mean been. we um, we don't have we we don't have a negative team. You know what I mean? Like we never have since I've been here. Even when guys get frustrated, you know, it's always open for conversation. Um, so I mean, it's it's never been like that's your fault or pointing the fingers. You know, sometimes it's like, man, you got to be there. You know, like that's your job. So I think that's I think that's healthy. You know, that's good for for the growth of our team.